Well, today I'm just taking the gun, no sleigh. I'm, we're gonna see if we uh, caught a rabbit for little Mary. And hopefully we caught a fox or something, or a marten, or a lynx. But anyways, um, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try, make a video a day for 30 days. And um, I hope you don't get tired of me. So anyways, let's go see if we caught a rabbit for little Mary. Okay? Oh, by the way, it's it's awesome today. The sun's finally coming out. It's like minus 14. Awesome. Wish it was colder, but... But anyways, let's go see if we caught a rabbit for Anna. Okay? Oh, my gun. I don't know much, too much about the make and models or anything. They say this is a Kui gun. I don't know. I know it's a 22. And um, I remember using it when I was a little kid. So like, we both, both grew up together, I guess. <laughs> this and that old 250. So anyways, let's go see if we caught a rabbit for Anna, or little Mary this time. Okay? Okay. Um, long time ago, when I was young, remember I was telling you about uh, where me and Grandpa went across the lake with snowshoes and then he took his old trail and I was taking those zero traps and we shot a link. But anyways, when we were, that's the first time we ever went there and him too when he was young too because those zero traps are really old. But anyways, that those days we snowshoed all the way down those creeks, going over beaver dams, going over beaver dams. Finally, we hit into willows, and we had just a little trail cut through there, snowshoes. And I remember my grandpa told me walk behind, cause I got to learn how to reset the snares, right? And I was young, eh? Jeez. But anyways, he'll go through. He'll take the snare off, and then we'll both go through. And I had those. Snowshoes with a big tail, and it's really hard for me to turn around to reset the snare. And I'll fall over, fall over, grapple, be just laughing. Finally, I have to, while he goes ahead, I have to reset the snare and then catch up to him. And reset the snare, catch up to him. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of snowshoeing back in the days. and. Um, I think that's why I was good at sports in, high, uh, in elementary school. I was the fastest runner. But anyways, I met um, uh, a friend back here. He's, he's looking for Tega. Uh, he's about the same age as me. I asked if he wants to be on camera and he said, uh, he was too camera shy. But I explained to him once I start making um, uh, honorarium money, that I'll pay him to come on the show and then he could tell us uh, part of uh, his side of the story of life, I guess. But yeah, I grew up with him and th their family's mostly from Fontas. It's a community down the, up the river. And um, it's about maybe three hours from here, that way. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of communities and we all got together and on this reserve. This one, he's from Fontas area, and my, my family is Nelson Forks. That's, that's like, uh, uh, here's the Sikini, Sikini River. Fontas is up there, right? And Kanta. And then the Sikini hits the Nels, Fort Nelson River. And then you go down the Fort Nelson River. And then uh, it forks off to, uh, onto the Leard River. That's where my grandpa was born, Nelson Forks. There was a community there. There's only just a old foundation where the Hudson Bay is. This, that's all that's left. And the old washing machine in, in the basement. Uh, one of these days, 
if we ever go down there, I'll show you that old foundation. Because that's only left of uh, where Grandpa was born, Nelson Forks. So anyways, let's keep walking. And um, hope we caught a rabbit for little Mary. Okay? Okay. Well, this is the last rabbit snare. Nothing in the other ones. But look, no snare. Remember I said it right there? Looked like he went this way. Went that way. He rust wrestled around here. Here. Oh. Still alive. Anyways, I'll dispatch him. Remember how I showed you? You grab him by the the chest, feel for his heart, and pull it down. Okay, that's how Grandpa showed me. So, anyways, I'll go back there and dispatch him, and then I'll show you the rabbit. Okay. Okay, I reset that rabbit snare, so there's no more rabbit snare after this, so I hope we caught a fox or something. Fingers crossed. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. But awesome. I like putting that smile on the elders' faces. It's awesome. It's good medicine. So anyways, um, no other fur today, just the rabbit, but that's awesome. We could still make an elder smile today. Awesome. So anyways, right here's the old horse trail. We'll scout around for another loop since it's still um, daylight. <laughs> we'll go down the hill and we'll go to where I want to build the, the trapper's cabin. And we'll keep walking along the, uh, the, the lake and then we'll pop up. You know where that beaver house we seen? We'll go check it out and then we'll come back and we'll pop up this cut line and come back this way. So if we see any sign we'll set some link snares next time we go through. So we'll leave the house, go down the old horse trail, go down here, go to the trapper's cabin place and then we'll pop out here and then we'll walk back home. For now anyway, until we get something to speed up the process. <laughs> like a skidoo. So anyways, for now we'll, we'll scout out, see if there's any link tracks, and come back this way. And I'm out of Martin traps, so um, I'll try to get some more somehow, see if, see if my dad or... Because well, everything's out there still, so anyways, I'll try to get some Martin traps. Because there's just one Martin tracks right there, and no more traps. So anyways, oh, we'll hide our rabbit so we don't have to drag it on here because I'll be coming back this way. I'll grab the rabbit and go that way. And another thing I was going to tell you, there's this saying, um, if you're driving down the road and then all of a sudden you see a, a wolverine and it stops and it looks at you, it's bad luck. So, but if you uh, see it coming in and it runs across the road and takes off, okay but yeah that's I heard that from an elder so if a wolverine stops and looks at you and takes off it's bad luck so anyways let's go hide our rabbit and go down to little lake and come back this way let's cut around for some link tracks and stuff if there's any we'll go down there tomorrow and we'll set them because I got a lot of link tracks or trap or snares okay okay I was just up there. This is a turn off to Little Lake. That goes around to the other side of the res. But anyways, wouldn't this road look good plowed? This is where I wanted the... Oh, 
Fox tracks. Yeah, um, the scent of this road was plowed. It's not too far. This road was, um, remember there was a cabin down here? This road was good one time. New chainsaw. So yeah, just picture this road fixed up with maybe a little dozer. So I could bring the old trapper's cabin in here. A cabin on skids. Wouldn't that be awesome? I remember, um, well, I was just a little kid when they fixed up this place. They called it the WAP crew, uh, work opportunity program, and my dad was on there too. If I could find some old pictures of them fixing up this place, I'll um, I'll show you. But that would be good if they did have another WAP program, eh? It's just a. Uh, Pop up the family man on the reserve, make a little money by brushing out this whole place, building two cabins and a bunch of picnic benches, a couple of outhouses. It was awesome, 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 awesome. So this is all hard ground. It's not muskeg, so be good to plow. So we're just about almost to the cabin site. There's the lake. Cool. I never heard loons in here this summer. Maybe the loons are in the bigger lakes, like at the out of the trap line. So, we're about 50 meters to go. Oh, by the way, I'm still tobacco free. Awesome. I quit right on my anniversary. Wedding anniversary? August 29th. We both quit. Oh, little weasel tracks. The other day I was going to have a cigarette, I was, I was kind of upset for nothing. I had a cigarette in my hand and I was going to light it my, and I went like this. I crushed up that cigarette. I don't need to start. So uh, here's the campsite where I want to build the trapper's cabin. On skids. See, they had a cabin here and it burnt down. And then they moved this old ugly camper there and somebody burnt it down. Kids were bad back in the day. Now they're all grown up. I'm glad they grew up. <laughs> now they're just good kids. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Brush out all that so you could see the lake better. Put a bench there and you can hear the loons, ducks. Awesome. So anyways, let's keep going down that way and see if there's any sign of fur. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> oh, um... I finally went to the soup kitchen at the wellness center. Um, they're always advertising that they have soup bannock on Saturdays. Today was good, it was beef barley and bro cream of broccoli. Oh, I love cream of broccoli. But anyways, there's a lady there. I, I grew up, well, all of us grew up together. 
She's uh, same age as me. Went to high school together and all that stuff. But she's uh, an expert tanner. She's gonna have a workshop before Christmas. Now I'd like to join that workshop because I, I was asking her, could you can moose, could you can fish and stuff like that? And she said, yeah. So wouldn't that be awesome for the elders? Like if I catch a beaver, catch a fish, catch a moose, I could can it. And we could even, um, when we're off on a little adventure, I could pull out a can of moose, a can of fish. Oh, wouldn't that be so good? So anyways, maybe I should ask her if I could bring the camera in and she could show all of us. Or maybe I'll learn and then we'll, um, I'll teach you if it's not too hard. But anyways, that's a plan anyway. Can some food. But anyway, there's the beaver house. I don't want to get too close yet. It's still not too cold, cold. So, cause I know where the, the beaver run is. It's gonna be really thin, right? You might, poof, and then you're. But anyways, <clears throat> long, 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 long time ago, first thing my grandpa told me no, it's about this big. Go get a bent stick. Because there's two ways to get a beaver. The way um, I was taught was the bait set where you put the poplar in and then your two dry sticks with the snares. That's like a poplar bait set, I guess. And this one he taught me, I never t did it for a while. And I like to learn that way, relearn, I guess. But I was taught that way too from my, with my, from my grandpa. Um, We'll make a, we'll find the bubbles, where the bubbles, you can hear it. And uh, where the, the, it's thinner ice where they keep going back in their entrance. entrance. And um, so anyways, while he's um, uh, chiseling the entrance hole, with uh, uh, he'll tell me to go get a, a bench stick and two dry sticks. And I was just young too, 11, 12. And I'll go get the dry sticks and the bent stick and I'll come back with it and you'll have the hole open already. Ready? Ready? But then sometimes my bent stick's not too bent. You say, oh, go back, get another one. So I'll run back and go get another one and, and then you'll have this hole set and then use that bent stick to feel where the opening is and where the sides are, right? Eh? And then, so we'll know where um, to set our uh, set. And once we find it, we'll, We'll measure the water, right? We'll put a stick in and we'll pull it out and we'll see where the mud is, eh? Where the mud is and where the top of the water is. We always go down because if you catch a beaver up there, it'll die like this and it'll get stuck to the bottom of the ice. So make sure you go down more and then you put your snares on it. Put it in and then put a stick on this side. And then it's all set and you cover it up. Oh, you put your anchor sticks in too, eh? Like I did on my one video uh, a couple of winters ago, last winter too. So anyways, that's the set I want to do with this. But uh, long, long time ago, um, me, my grandpa, and my uncle Mike, we used to come to the beaver house. And then while um, grandpa's getting ready, me and my uncle Mike will race. Because there's always two entrances to a house, eh? And he'll find his entrance and he'll find his entrance and we'll take the snow off and then we'll chisel our hole, see who's the fastest, eh? Sometimes Mike beats me and says, I'm done. And then I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll say, I'm finished. And then sometimes I win, sometimes he wins. And just to get the hole open and all grandpa's got to do is there is find his, the opening and stuff like that and put his beaver snares. While he's putting his beaver snares in, we're in the next one, racing. Trying to find the, uh, you know, it was fun back then. So anyways, we'll try a couple of sets on this house if, uh, um, once it gets colder. We'll try a, a poplar bait set, like I've been trying on my videos, my earlier videos. And we'll try that entrance set, uh, I like to try because you gotta, you know, bring it back, eh? Like, if you did something a long time ago and you remember, try to redo it again just to familiarize. It's like riding a bike, eh? <laughs> okay. So anyways, 
That's only one beaver house on here. And I hate to take uh, all the beaver out, eh? So we'll just take maybe one or two and then we'll leave the rest just so it could repopulate. Because they took the, I don't know how many beaver out of that house over there last year, the, the, the culture club, culture at school. And it's old now, it's gone. No, this one's built this year. So we'll just take maybe just one and then we'll leave the rest to populate this whole lake again. And one other thing would be nice is to paddle around on this lake, huh? That'd be good to have a, like if they're gonna build houses or something again, take all that, you know, top, uh, what do you call it? Grubbage or whatever you call it, the topsoil. Instead of dumping it somewhere else, they should make a, a boat launch. For canoes that way we could at least get into here easier because we're gonna have to find a, a beaver run or something and then that goes to the and try to get your canoe in there but that's a plan for me once we get Tapper's cabin we'll get a canoe in here and we'll paddle around oh that'll be so awesome so anyways mm, let's keep going we'll go back and then we'll go up I don't think we'll set traps on here, I mean snares, link snares, because there's already a skidoo trail, so... But we could set the corner bears for Martin, or a double pen set with snares. But we'll get to that point when, uh, once I start going this loop here. Tomorrow, well, there's no tracks right now, so... Well, whenever we get to that point, we'll make another loop going that way. Okay? But first we'll wait till this freezes up more and then we'll get this beaver. Maybe remember this one. Just to show you guys how how to snare beaver. The way I was taught anyway. So anyways, it's still a nice day, it's still early. Let's go back that way and we'll grab my rabbit and then we'll slowly walk down the road to home. Maybe yap a little bit more if I find something to yap about. Okay? Okay. Awesome. Look at the size of these tracks. They're huge. See how they look? Like round and like one after another. That's link tracks. Just fresh too. So you might see them. You never know. So if we do come this way, I'll send a set a pen set somewhere. Okay? Okay. Awesome. We got fur on this side. Okay. Well, even though we never caught anything, I'm still happy we caught a rabbit for an elder, right? Awesome. So anyways, um, be nice to, uh, like I know there's a lot of you guys, people, um, be nice to get something physical from you guys, like a postcard, just so something from my wall, you know, you, where you're from and stuff like that. And, um, that'd be nice, right? So anyways, uh, we're gonna head her back. And, um, my address for your, uh, postcard is Robert Padin, Box 8, RR1, Mile 293, Site 1. And you could add Trapper's Den if you want because the mailbox is up by Trapper's Den. Then, yeah, they don't sell traps or snares or anything. We're just odds and ends, books and stuff. But anyways, Trapper's Den and uh, Fort Nelson, BC, V0C1RO, or zero. V0C1R0. I said that right. So anyways, be nice to uh, get a postcard from you people. So anyways, this is the end of part five or six. 
But anyways, peace. Okay? Okay. Awesome.